What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. So today I wanted to bring you some beautiful fancy golden styles, which is our freebie of October this month. And I do apologize for putting it out late. I had quite a bit on my plate. I just released the new Chick watercolor um, textures kit, which has over 600 elements. You can check that out on my website. I will provide a link below in the description. So I wanted to talk about this month's freebie. As you know, most of you know that I work mainly in Photoshop patterns. So I wanted to experiment a little bit with Photoshop styles. I personally prefer Photoshop patterns as overlays to typography because I feel that it comes out more crisp. It's easier to move around and adjust. And I just find that it's a little, uh, a little bit more, you know, cursed and beautiful. And that's just my personal preference. But I noticed that I didn't have a whole lot of Photoshop styles out there and I haven't really covered the subject. So I wanted to dive into that. Now I've created 18 beautiful uh, golden crisp styles for you in Photoshop. And there are a range of there are some marbles, pinks, and purples because I wanted to do a little bit of variety. Remember again, this is an experiment. Um, I do find that these are very high quality Photoshop styles for <laughs> an experiment. You will not find a lot of gold foils of this quality for free online, so please feel free to download them from my website. I will provide a link in the description below. So most of you... Um, want probably want to know how to configure the styles now sometimes the styles will not fit on every font size so you have to do a little bit of adjustments and this is what i'm here to show you today now most of this info most of this inspiration comes from the golden globe uh, flyer that i seen and it is pretty popular online most people want to emulate the style so let me go ahead and show you show you that now i'm using the taylor swift um, picture here and I created this um, from the Golden Globe uh, flyer that has everybody reaming about and basically it's a golden overlay text that says we all dream in gold which is basically what the Golden Globe um, advertisement um, has and then it has the Golden Globe uh, you know little thingy statue <laughs> and so this is what we wanted to replicate so I wanted to go ahead and show you the styles and how we can adjust them to fit our text so I've created a couple examples here um, in my text and I am using southern slant which I will provide a link in the description below on how you can get this beautiful font this is the southern slant this one um, right here and the other font I'm using is Artisan, and I will provide a link in the description below. Most of the fonts that I use, because I'm a professional graphic designer, I do purchase a lot of my fonts. Um, I find that you can get more value if you purchase bundles. Um, I particularly am not interested in paying you know, $20 for one font. Uh, Mind Design Deals is a really great place to get a whole bunch of fonts that are professional grade and they do come with an extended license. And I also will provide a description in the link below on how you can get some amazing fonts. That's where I purchase my fonts from. Not necessarily the creative market unless they have some really good deals. Um, like as far as like font packs and stuff, usually they have those advertised on the front page of Creative Market. And I will provide a link in the description below um, on some really good font bundles too as well. So I got these particularly probably in a font bundle. I purchased so many fonts. I think I have like over 8,000 fonts. So I do apologize. I don't remember particularly where I got these front fonts from. Um, I have so many, it would be impossible to know. But anyways, in this video description, I find these absolutely stunning. So I'm just gonna go through the, the styles here. So this one, as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and just click. So you can see the script font, how pretty that is. Let me scroll up here so you can see. And we're just gonna go through each one. Now I have aligned these to make them look extraordinary to the size. 
and you're going to see each one is very beautiful. And just clicking through here so you can see all the, the foils. Okay. So now I'm going to go back up here. Whoops. I forgot to lock my background. Okay. So I'm going to go up here. Let me get my hand tool. You can press the space bar so you can scroll up. And okay, I just wanted to make sure I was on that style. So this is a non script font because sometimes styles will look different on script and you know um, these other stout fonts so let's just go here and I'm just gonna click through these so you can see how they look see how this one is not adjusted properly and it looks kind of funky so what you're going to do is if you ever come across this and it doesn't look good on your type, you're going to hit the FX button, go to the pattern overlay. The first thing that you're going to want to try to do is snap to origin. Obviously that's not looking good. So you can scale this up and down and that's looking a little bit better and you can press OK. So now it fits beautifully on here and you can adjust any time um, these adjustments in here. And that's how you uh, adjust the styles. So where was I? And in order for it to stay permanently, you're going to have to, you're going to have to save it out as a new style. So you would, once you have this adjusted and you like it to your liking, you can put, click new style and save it because every single time it's gonna, when you click on that, it's gonna go back to the way it was, okay? If that makes sense. So you just press okay. And, okay, that's where we were. Okay, and so as you can see, the rest of these look really pretty. That has like a shimmery look to it. Now, remember this is an experiment that I was doing, so, um, something that I was playing around. Here's another one that doesn't look good. It looks good on the script, but it doesn't necessarily look good on the regular type font. So you would just do the same thing again. You would go into pattern overlay and you can move it around. If you like that, mm, snap to origin. So now it's looking much better. You could just press OK. So there we go. And the rest of these look pretty good. And that's how you adjust the, the styles so they can fit on your text. If you're making the text smaller, you're going to have to adjust the pattern overlay um, in there. Um, if you're making the text bigger, you might have to adjust it as well. So that's basically how you adjust the styles. If you want to create your own style, you can do that as well. Um, I've created this beautiful shimmering um, thing here and what how you create a style you go to um, define pattern and you can just create that there and then you're gonna go to the X, XF button go to pattern overlay and the new style that you just created okay um, you're gonna adjust that however you like, okay, and then click new style, okay, there's your new style, it's going to show up on the bottom here, and then if you go back, actually, let me merge these together, merge visible, okay, edit, define pattern, okay, now I'm going to create a new layer, file new, create, oops, and 
now we're going to go to pattern overlay and where is the pattern that we had? This one. Okay. Snap to origin and let's try to move it around, make it fit the way it's supposed to be. And you just might have to drag it around. Oops. There we go. Now that's looking good. Make sure it doesn't have any weird edges. Okay. And then now you can press new style from that layer and then you can include the layer blending modes. And then press OK. Now you can go back here and there's your gold style. Now I think this is going to look better in, in the bigger one. So sometimes you have to play around with this. Now let me show you the pattern overlay. This is why I like the pattern overlays better than the styles. You saw how that looked. So if I go to the pattern overlay and I select that, that style that I just created, um, let me do 25 and snap to origin and see how pretty that looks. That is why I like pattern overlays so much better than styles because the styles, they don't really do it justice um, from that like pattern. It looks so much better than the style, right? So you can use these styles, play around with them, use them. Um, I'm going to allow commercial and personal use for these styles. You can use them however you see fit. If you decide to link to my website, please provide a do follow link. That helps me provide more items for free without having to advertise because with Google, it helps rank higher when I have people linking to me with do follow links. So if you have a website and you want to link to my website to these free items, please, um, if you do not use the do follow link, you will not be able to link to me. I will password protect it or I will remove it from my site. So please respect my rules. Please do not resell the textures or the styles. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and you want me to create more freebies, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. The more subscribers I get, the more thumbs up and comments I get on my website, the more I'm able to create free content for you guys. So thank you so much for watching photohacklovers.com. This is Charlotte and you guys have a great night.